Today I'm going to be showing you how I textured, modeled these pillars in Blender. I will explain every step of the way. So yeah, let's get into it. So yeah, before we get started, all we need to do is click on this drop down menu, press matcap and cavity. And this just adds ambient occlusion to all your objects and it allows you to see all the objects in the scene much better. So we have our cube and what we want to do is press tab mode and then control R and left click and left click again just to apply it. And then control R, left click, left click again. And then you want to just select these vertices here and these vertices here and yeah that's it just these vertices here and you want to right click and delete vertices and now it should give you like one quarter of a cube then you want to click on the add modifier tab and you want to search up mirror you want to press x and y axes and this will just recreate a cube but whatever we uh, whenever we go into tab mode and we edit this it will uh, have the effect on all four sides so we can edit this pillar much more effectively now we're going to do the same thing with the cylinder shift a add in a mesh and that is going to be a cylinder and then you want to change the vertices to 24 g and then z to move it up and you want to scale that up like that as well you want to s to scale as well downwards and then g and then z scale upwards just find the right uh size like i am and then you want to also scale this down as well you just want to make sure it's they're both touching these two objects yeah and then you want to do the same with this cylinder thing you just want to delete so you have one quarter of the cylinder left like so add a modifier add a mirror yeah that should get you started now now we're going to get cracking so what you want to do is click on, uh, click on the default cube and you just want to press a and then subdivide right click and subdivide right click subdivide again right click subdivide and now you want to go into face select and you want to select these bottom faces once you've done that go into this button here extrude along normals and you just want to extrude along normals like this and, while, and then press s as well while you're extruding this would basically just add a uh, i don't know what it does it just does something <laughs> anyway select these vertices here press i and then you will also want to select these vertice vertices, you press I. And then once you select these vertices and these vertices, you want to press um, extrude along normals, like so, not too much, uh, just a little bit. And then right click and subdivide. And then you just want to select uh, this little, these cubes here. And select them on these sides here as well and you want to extrude along normals and yeah that creates a nice little design for the bottom already looking very detailed now you want to add a side corner as well so just select the corner of the building thing or the pillar sorry and you just want to extrude along normals and press s as well and that just straightens it i think and yeah you just want to create it up to there then you want to press i and you also want to extrude along normals again yeah that looks pretty nice and now you can also press these faces these faces and you want to press i and then extrude along normals outwards like so so it's created a little bump kind of thing and then you want to press e as well and then no sorry and then you want to press i and then extrude along like so and yeah that's created a nice little bottom pillar that we can use now you also want to click uh, the, uh, these two faces here you want to press i press e press i don't go in too much so it's around there and then you'll press e like so and that's created a nice little design there you just want to create that little designs like these so you just want to press these select these two faces press i and then extrude along normals inwards and then press s as well not too much because the mesh will collide and yeah that's created a nice little a corner piece right there now you want to select these faces and you want to press i then you want to press extrude along normals then you want to press i then you also want to extrude outwards like so and then you want to press s to extrude like that and yeah i was going to create a nice little pattern but it didn't work because the geometry is clashing so let's do it on this side it doesn't always have to be the same it doesn't have to be symmetrical just go along with the flow 
or maybe you have to extrude outwards for this one. But yeah, let's just do that. Extrude along normals, I, and then E, and then I, and then E, and then maybe you could do something like this. Maybe press I and then E, and then you could just maybe do something like this. Do like a random design and then just extrude inwards for that. Uh, it's all just uh, what I did there. I didn't explain it. What I did there is just you just want to select the faces, and you just want to press E, and that's it. Yeah, uh, that's created a nice little pattern on that side. This place doesn't really look that detailed, so maybe select the inside faces for this one, and you maybe want to just press I and then press E, maybe. Then you just want to do the same thing select these faces and then press E. That's created a nice little design there, nice. Okay, now we're gonna create a nice little piece here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select these faces here and you just wanna extrude along normals. Press S while you're doing it as well, like so. And then you wanna press I, and extrude along normals inwards and press S while you're doing it so it fixes the geometry. And yeah, that's created a nice little corner piece right there. Now you wanna select this, oh, now you wanna select these faces as well. You want to press I, and then E, and then S, and then and then you want to just select these faces here, and extrude them outwards like so. And then you also want to press I as well, and then you want to extrude along normals. It's a lot of extruding here, but yeah, do that, and then you can do another pattern here. So maybe I, and then E, and then I, and then extrude along normals like so. Then press I and then press E, something like that. Maybe that could work. Yeah. Now maybe what you could do is select a couple of these faces. Maybe just do a little design here like that, and then do the same here. Um. Let's see, which faces did I select here? Yeah, do something like that. And that's created a nice little teeth section thing. I don't know what that's created, but it's created something. <laughs> anyway, now you want to select these faces and you want to extrude along normals. This will be the next corner piece. Once you've done that, it should look like that. And then you want to select these pieces here. And you want to make try to make this one look really detailed. So maybe we could do a eye. And then maybe we could do it extrude along normals, press S while you're doing it. And maybe you could do another eye, extrude outwards. And then maybe do another eye, extrude inwards. And then maybe you could do another eye that goes really small or something. Then extrude along normals. I don't know if that made sense. And yeah, just extrude along outwards like that. Looks pretty detailed. I don't know about you, but yeah. Now you want to do the same thing you did here. So you just want to select these faces. Do, 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 and then you'll press E, and then you want to press I, and then you want to press E, and then you want to press I, and then you just want to extrude it outwards again, like so. That's created a nice little design there. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of messed up geometry in this if you can't tell already. <laughs> yeah, anyway, you want to select these faces here, and you want to press I. And then extrude along normals like so and then press e while you're doing it and then you want to press i and then you want to press subdivide and then you just want to select some random faces it doesn't have to be uh anything in particular and then you just want to extrude inwards or if that messes up your geometry don't do that definitely not do that actually extrude outwards well, that still messes up geometry but it's fine it's fine um, yeah, I think that's a cool little design. So let's do that. So let's just select random faces on here And yeah, let's just extrude them outwards Yeah, that looks quite nice and then press I and then E and then I again and then just press E like so Yeah, that's created a nice little design there and yeah, that should be it on it There's one more side left and another side here. Maybe we could just do the same I and then E Sorry, not E, extrude along normals and then press I and E. Oh, then extrude along normals and then I. 
and then extrude outwards like so. And maybe press S. No, don't press S. Um, just trying to think. Maybe press G and then Z. No. Maybe press S. No. no. What else could we do there with this last bit? I. And then you just want to extrude along normals inwards like so. Yeah, and that is it for the little bottom pillar thing. Now you want to uh, texture, no, model your cylinder. So let's get to that. It shouldn't be too hard. So what you want to do with this is you want to just select these faces, leave one gap in between them all. Just want to extrude along normals. Or maybe don't do that because this one clashes with that one. So maybe try the other way. But it's still, yeah, it'll still clash. So it's fine. Just select those faces anyway. And yeah, you just can something like... So you want to select the other faces and then maybe extrude along normals outwards and then I and then extrude inwards not too much because it'll mess up the geometry and then maybe you could do hmm, maybe you could do subdivide and then maybe you could just select these two faces and these faces here uh, inside them and just extrude them outwards Oh, uh, no, not extrude because that, that messes it up. I just want to extrude along normals. Yeah, that makes sense. And then just select these faces that haven't got anything on them and just make your own little design. You can go wherever, wherever you want with this one. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, and that should be it. You also want to uh, scale that downwards so it actually looks like a legit pillar. <laughs> And then you also want to duplicate this cube here and you want to rotate it 180. Let's see if that's 180. No, it isn't. Let's change that to 180. And you just want to just make sure it's right at the end of that cylinder thing. And yeah, that, that's going to look really nice now. You just want to go into rendered view, go into EV, uh, cycles. And you just want to get to start texturing. Um, that's already looking quite nice actually. So maybe we could add some ambient occlusion. Also, what, you, uh, what I recommend is going to the shading tab, go in, uh, select select object to world, and then select background, and then press X. That deletes the uh, background. And then you just want to press object, back on object, then layout, and then you just want to press shift A. Add in a light area light S to scale. I'm sure you already know how to this, do this, but yeah. And then you just want to increase the watts like so. And yeah, this just makes your this just allows you to create your own little um, lighting dynamic. Yeah, something like that. You can set your lighting up like that as well. And yeah, that's created your little pillar here. Is I want to add my own texture. So I haven't done this in a while, but maybe add some ambient occlusion. What else do you need for ambient occlusion? You need a color ramp i oh, know you need to press ctrl t no you don't you might need to actually just do it anyway just in case and then press so that just bit ctrl t basically just adds a texture coordinate and a mapping node so do that just copy this layout um color ramp and this will hopefully control yeah that color controls the colors yeah and then you just want to apply that material all of them and now theoretically if I change the color here should uh, let's see yeah it should have two colors within right yeah there's two colors in the mix of that I think oh yeah there's there are two colors that's a nice color actually that's not a nice color <laughs> Maybe that, ooh, that's a nice color. I'll give you the hex codes if you do want to. Uh, that's the hex code for the first one, and then you just use white. Um, yeah, that looks quite nice. But um, yeah, that's how I texture my pillars and stuff. And also use other stuff as well. But yeah, anyway. Um, and now you just want to duplicate this pillar. And you can also just do this. Uh, yeah, what was it? Do this. Duplicate this cube here. You make. You want to. You can make it look like a ancient arch, kind of thing. 
like that yeah. anyway yeah. guys that's it for the tutorial hope you liked and subscribed and yeah catch you in the next video Peace out.